here they have given uh, the wave function at a time t equal to 0 and they are asking the shortest time at which psi of t will become orthogonal to psi of 0. So just we have to find psi of t and apply the orthonormal condition, orthogonal condition. So this is a given uh, psi of 0 is equal to 1 by root 2. This is uh, psi 1 plus psi 2 and uh, at a time t psi of t will become we just multiply with the phase factor e raised to minus i e1 t by h cross into psi 1 plus e raised to minus i e2 t by h cross psi of psi t psi of psi 2. Now just apply the orthogonal condition for this that is the uh, inner product psi of t psi of 0 uh, this is equal to 0. If you take this uh, inner product so here uh, this is in the bra vector so that's why it is e raised to i e1 t by h cross and this inner product psi 1 and psi 1 will be 1 and plus this is in the bra vector that's why e2 t by h cross and this is psi 2 and psi 2 inner product is also equal to 1. So this is equal to 0. So if I take common e raised to i e1 t by h cross then I will get 1 plus e raised to i uh, e2 t sorry e2 minus e1 into t by h cross uh, this is equal to 0 and from this we can write this term e raised to i I can take delta e simply t by h cross this is equal to minus 1 and if you equate uh, the real and imaginary parts because uh, here we have only real part so if you equate the real and imaginary part this will be cos delta e t by h cross and here there is no imaginary part the real part is uh, minus 1. So finally we got uh, cos delta e t by h cross is equal to minus 1. So from this we can write delta e t by h cross is uh, cos inverse of minus 1. He's asking the shortest time that's why uh, this cos inverse minus 1 uh, it will become uh, that is equal to pi. So t equal to pi h cross by delta e. We can do this by using uh, a direct formula also that is uh, orthogonal condition orthogonal condition means uh, the time t is given by that means the time at which the wave function become orthogonal to the initial state uh, we can write it as uh, um, h cross by delta e cos inverse minus c1 mod square by c2 mod square where c1 and c2 are the amplitudes given here in the wave function here it is 1 by root 2 so this 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 gets cancelled so here we'll get again minus 1 cos inverse minus 1 is equal to uh, same pi h cross by delta u.